Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create a level lock and unlock system. Unfortunately, in my last uh, video, which I have created on Insan channel, that they uh, have some issues with the level lock and unlock. And in this video, I am going to share a very uh, simple way to create a level lock and unlock system. Hopefully, it will be useful for you. Definitely, we will import some assets for creating the UI elements and uh, some other scenes as well. So I'm just importing the game UI buttons and for creating the UI and also we will go to asset store and we will import standard assets because I will just use the third person controller to uh, create our scenes and we will not uh, do a lot of things uh, like uh, creating levels or other things because this uh, video is concentrated on level lock unlock system so here we can import standard assets and in standard assets uh, we will use third person controller so for after importing the assets i will resume the video now the standard assets are imported but uh, first time when you uh, import the standard asset if you play the game you will find a compiler error so if we will go to a console and if we click on this compiler errors you will find a script simple activator manual we can delete this script and it will uh, it will just uh, delete the console error okay so it's not necessary so now we will create our first level first of all so we will go to scenes we will create a new scene and we can name the scene as a main menu so let's create a main menu and inside main menu we can create our panel canvas for level locked unlock system so here we will create a we'll double click on main menu and here we will create a canvas we can click here we can go to ui and we can create a panel here and for panel we can rename the name of panel so if for example you want to create a different name for the panel you can just rename it and we can say level or actually it will be a main menu so main menu so I will just show you the process of creating main menu as well so that uh, you can customize your game uh, easily so uh, inside surprise if we where, huh, here it is uh, we have some surprise here we can uh, use this surprise for creating our level and uh, before that i will just go to get one more ui for uh, just one more image for background okay so i will just find that i want uh, found one image for background i will just uh, make it uh, 2d definitely we have to make it 2d image then we can only use these uh, images on um, our uh, panel and then we can just press f to focus on the uh, background and uh, then definitely we can increase the opacity of background definitely we can change the aspect ratio if we want i will keep it uh, uh, this much uh, this is good and now we will create a uh, first button on this uh, uh, main menu and uh, here we will create a button we can just uh, change the sprite of the button so we can go to flat we can select our sprites we can make it 2d and apply it now we can use these sprites on panel so i will just uh, place this uh, blue button we will delete the text of the button uh, for better result and here we can say play and for play button uh, now we will add text for play button again so this text will not be stretchable okay so for play button i can i will just uh, make this button a little bit wider and then uh, for this text button we can name it play 
definitely we can change the color of the button we can make it the best fit if we want we can make it bold we can make it bigger sorry and we can make it the middle our flow and that's nice we will add this text on the play button and uh, i think font size should be 28 something now we have play button and uh, similarly you can create other buttons as well like quit and i will not uh, show you that uh, process so this is the main menu and now we need a uh, this button to be inside main menu like this okay now we need a level menu so i will just duplicate this menu uh, main menu and we will just rename it to level selection and inside level selection uh, i will just uh, hide this main menu and for level selection uh, we need a text on the top so ui text and uh, for this text i will just add text of uh, title like this and here we will say select a level and then we will make it uh, white we can just make it bigger as well so something like 48 or 36 maybe and then we can make it bold and we can add it here now we need buttons for level so title is in uh, level buttons and now we have this uh, play button and uh, we will change the name of play button to one because it will be level one okay uh, we can uh, change the sprite of this button and I will just use this round sprite so maybe maybe this orange one select this add this sprite and now we have a nice level button like this so we can make it a uh, little bit smaller we can delete the text of the button because it's stretched now and we will create another text we will add this text on the first button we will make it one and we will add uh, we will make it bold we will make it bigger like this we will change the color and we will also make it overflow in the middle so yeah that's nice uh, i think uh, 30 will work fine for the text and uh, when we are happy in game view uh, if we are happy then we can move further and i think we should increase text to 40 maybe also for the button we should make this button a little bit darker so we'll make it a little bit darkish or bright is fine i think so yeah that's fine okay now we will create other buttons so whatever levels you want you can add so i will just add a second button like this third button and i will just duplicate these buttons uh, before that i think we should change the names of button so three and then we will duplicate it make it four you can create as many levels as you want level buttons because uh, the system will work with uh, almost all uh, almost every number whatever number you have uh, that will work with your system so here we will change the text to two then we have three 
it is actually time consuming um, uh, thing, but uh, I want to show you that, so that uh, if uh, you are absolute beginner, then even you can create this system. So, we have a level selection, ok. So, that is nice, we have main menu and level selection. So, on main menu, what we want to do, uh, that if we click on play, we should open this panel, ok. So, level selection, we will initially make it uh, invisible. So, on play button, if we go to play button, we can add an event on click function and we can drag drop main menu and we will uh, make it game object set active pool to inactive and we will create one more event we will add level selection and here we will make it active by clicking check uh, option ok so that is nice if we play the game and if we play click on play button uh, we should be uh, open the level select menu ok that is nice so now you can see we have our buttons uh, fully working so now we need to create some levels to create this uh, the function of level selection so we will go to scenes we can create a new scene so for example here we can create a new scene let us add name of one uh, definitely you can uh, name it whatever you want I am just uh, adding one for the first level and here we can create a 3d object plane and then we can just uh, focus on the plane and we will just make it bigger like this and uh, then we will add our character so we have standard assets we can go to characters third person prefabs and we can drag drop our character over here so now we have a nice character here now we need a collider here so that if we collide with some uh, finish point we will be uh, progressed to next level uh, before that uh, it's best practice to rename the player like player or any other name you can assign it i will just make it the player like this and then uh, you should create a prefab for this character so this is best practice ok because uh, we are using prefabs uh, prefabs uh, for saving data ok so it is best practice to create your own prefab and then use this prefab in the scene ok so in our case uh, the same prefab is used in our game because this is player so that is nice now we will create a uh, 3d object and we can create a cube we can make it bigger so if we strike with this cube we will finish the level so also i will just create a material for this and finish like this just for uh, visualization and we can place this on the finish point that is nice now we need a script so we will create a script folder here and we need three scripts for this function scripts so the first scripts we need is for trigger so we can say finish trigger like this and in the result of uh, colliding with this box we need to open a panel ok a uh, bin panel so let's let's wait for some seconds and actually we need a ui for this level as well ok so first of all we will create a ui canvas and then we need a panel ui panel for this panel we can now just focus on this panel and we will make it uh, smaller like this and i will just go to sprites where are sprites okay here these are and we can add this to sorry we will add this background to this source image like this ok we will make it uh, 200 opacity 
and then we will create a title and we will name it ruin like this we can make it uh, bigger like 48 maybe white overflow middle and then we are going to win the game then we need uh, other two buttons for quitting the game and uh, for next level so here uh, in on canvas we can create a new button and for this button we can rename it to next like this and for this button we can just uh, delete the text we can go to flat buttons we can select the button we can place the image for this button we can make it bigger and we can just uh, add it here and for next we can add a text of next just for understanding purpose we can select it and we can add next and then uh, we can make it bold we can make it bigger we can make it white and our flow and this is our button so that's nice we have everything ready i think so so now the last thing we have this uh, win panel and next uh, button will be the part of the panel and for panel we will just uh, rename it to you win panel like this and now in the script uh, we will open the script and the first thing we need is to um, add a variable so we need a public uh, game object and we need you win panel and we will say that wide on trigger enter we need to open the panel so we will say wide on trigger enter on trigger where it is enter and then uh, we will say that we need you win panel dot set active true so now uh, what will happen that uh, when we reach the uh, this cube which uh, will be the finished cube uh, we should open this panel so before that we will hide this panel like this okay so we'll select the cube and on the cube we will add this uh, script which will be what is the name of that script just forget so we will go to scripts cube and we will just add this script also because we are uh, adding the on trigger function so we must uh, make this is trigger field active okay so now we can trigger uh, to the box so if we play the game you will see that uh, we can move and we actually didn't set up the camera we can um, add camera on the player i will just uh, make it uh, position zero 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 so it will be at the right place we can make it like this and now if we play you will see that our player can move and we our panel will be active when we reach the trigger and some problem is there uh, yeah problem is that uh, we didn't assign the uh, field to the panel so if we select it you can see that we have finished the script and you win panel uh, we will add the you win panel here okay and now if we play hopefully we will not face any problem so and now you can see that we will be in a box and we are uh, we win the game so now we want if we play click on next we should be uh, we should move to next level okay so for that purpose we need two scripts i have created two scripts the first script is level clear for this level and in level clear we will include the scene management function and then in start function we will say that if player prefab has key level cleared so for example if you are player and if it has already a field uh, already a variable of level cleared 
then we should run some function and here we are not running any function else we have to create that function initially player prefab has no uh, level cleared function so we are creating that function here so we are setting up the integer level cleared and we um, uh, from zero and uh, we are saying that if uh, player prefab has uh, variable level clear count then do something otherwise create that variable okay so we are creating the variable now we have created one more function public wide level cleared and in this function we are initializing three integers and previous build index and previous build index we are getting from player prefabs that get int level cleared int current build index we are getting this build index from the current scene and the previous level count we are getting this uh, integer from level cleared count variable okay so these variables we are assigning here okay and now we are creating a if statement where we are saying that if current build index is uh, greater than previous build index then we want to load next level okay so we are getting build index plus one okay so your script should be similar i am i will also uh, share these scripts in uh, description link so you can download these scripts and use in your uh, projects so here we are saying that uh, level cleared uh, is uh, build index so if uh, for example we clear some level then that level will be added to level cleared variable and uh, the uh, level cleared count uh, uh, will be previous level count plus one okay so the previous level count uh, so what will happen that level cleared count um, uh, for level clear uh, what will happen that previous a uh, previous level count that previous level we win plus one means this level so if we clear some level that level will be added to previous level count as well and new level cleared count will be different uh, this uh, function uh, this uh, function we will use on the button so we will select it we can add this uh, to uh, this game object or any other game object you want so we i am just uh, adding this on the level clear uvin panel and then we will select the button which is the next button we will cl click on on click function and then we will drag drop this uvin panel function and from this we will select level clear and we will select level cleared function that's it for the scene management now we will move to uh, uh, before moving to main menu we will duplicate this uh, 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 scene because this is the scene one and scene one is uh, uh, ready so now we can duplicate this scene so we can create a save as we can go to scene so we can add second scene and for second scene uh, I will just create one another material just for my showing purpose otherwise uh, it's not necessary i'm just adding the different color in scene 2 just for uh, showing you the progress so we will uh, create one more material and for this material we can create uh, for example yellow color and now we can save this scene as a scene 3 and for scene 3 we can add this yellow we will save scene as a scene 4 and for scene 4 we will add blue for scene 5 we will add yellow for scene 6 
we have blue again so that we have created our scenes that's absolutely fine so now uh, we will go to main menu so in main menu what we want to do so the first thing we need a script for main menu and the script is actually the uh, level system script which I have created uh, here level script and in level script we need to include UI we need to include scene management libraries after that we have a start function in start function first of all we have added a disable all function which is created here in which we are saying that we want all buttons to be intractable equal to false so we need all fun uh, buttons should be false except first button okay so here you can see we have created a play level function and scene manage load scene and then we are adding levels so these levels we will add manually on the buttons and inside start function we are saying that disable all and then after disabling we are enabling the first level okay uh, the first button on the index and then uh, we are saying that uh, we are getting these uh, variables and we are saying that we should uh, save uh, uh, we we should get the uh, buttons uh, the levels from level cleared count okay so whatever levels we passed that much buttons will be active okay so that's the function that's the small script which we can use for our level management uh, function so here we will enable the level selection menu for time and then after that uh, I will just add this level script on level selection menu you can add it uh, anywhere and uh, then we will select all the buttons and then we will select the uh, on click function we will just uh, move level selection here and then we will select a one by one button uh, buttons one by one and then we will add the level script and the player play level function and the first level will be on index one and then second level will be on index two like the uh, so, uh, two sorry and the third level will be on index 3 fourth level will be on index 4 fifth level will be on index 5th fifth. fifth and sixth level will be on level 6 so level 6 will play level 6 so that's it our uh, buttons are ready and now we can just hide this for time we can save it and now everything is ready except one last thing and that is adding scenes into build index so we will go to file build settings and here you can see we didn't have any scenes so scene should be here in a proper manner so main menu will be on zero index first scene will be on first index like this okay two three four five and six so that's nice now if we play the game you will see that uh, everything will work absolutely fine hopefully so let's click on play and some problem is here null reference exception object reference so level script so the error was uh, without any reason I just tweaked some things and uh, I just created a panel again and with buttons and uh, uh, just uh, without any reason uh, there was error I just uh, organized the scripts as well uh, but uh, there was no difference in scripts and uh, anything uh, in the process so if we play the game hopefully you will see that uh, we will be on our uh, first button is on uh, level one if you click you can see we on uh, we are on a uh, level one if we play the game and if we win the level one we will be directed to level two so let's see 
uh, it's quite far. So, here you can see that we win the level and if you click on next, we will be on level 2 here you can see the levels. Okay. So, now if we go to main menu, you will see that our two levels should be unlocked. So, here you can see one and two levels should be unlocked. If we play more, we will win more levels, then that much levels will be unlocked. So, here you can see that uh, we are on second level. If we win the third and fourth level, then what will happen? I will show you that. So, here you can see we win the second level, we are on third level and if we win the third level, we will be on fourth level. Okay, now if uh, we win a level 3, we hopefully level 4 will be unlocked. Here you can see we win the level 4, uh, uh, level 3. If we click on next, level 4 unlocked. So, if we go to main menu again, you will see that our four levels will be unlocked. Here you can see four levels are unlocked. That's it. That's uh, uh, for the level lock unlock system. You can download the uh, project from description. And that's it for today. Let's uh, meet in next video. Allah Hafiz.